And now it's news in a minute. Hard hitting stories that matter. We're live with Serena Marshall. Serena, how are you today? I'm great. How are you doing? I'm wonderful. I'm your host, Scott Elliott. How are you? I'm fantastic. It's great to see you here. Thank you. It's good. You're to see live you. in Johnson City, Tennessee, I hear. Uh, I am. I'm not dead in Johnson City. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Um, also, want to let you know with us here on the phones, we have a good dear friend of yours via satellite, Corbin yes. Blevins. Hi, Corbin. Hello, Serena. <laughs> also on the phones with us, she's kind of shy today, but it's Dela Hugh. Dee. Hi. Oh. <laughs> See, <laughs> she's having a drink. Um, <laughs> so we've invited you here today to speak on topics that you have been studying here most recently yes. over the past few months. Yes. As you know, in our current political climate, we've got the presidential election coming up. Ooh, we have a poor economy. Yes, we do. We have people without jobs. Yes. People stealing from the Walmarts. Yes. People on bath salts. Yes, I do bubble bath because I'm hardcore. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, we're here to ask you three hard-hitting questions that matter. Yes. And the reason we're asking you these is not only because of your knowledge, but we need you to help our viewers decide who to vote for. Okay, absolutely. As you know, there's only one Democrat running. Yes. He's the current president of the United States, Barack Obama. Yes. No other Democrats are apparently are qualified. I, I assume not. We also have many Republicans kind of still left in the race. A few have dropped out. Yeah. But we're going to discuss them as well. Okay. Good deal. And we need your views on the following questions. Absolutely. Number one. Yes. If I were to vote for any of these candidates, I need to know this. Okay. Do they wear boxers or briefs? President Obama, go. Uh, President Obama, he would probably wear boxers. Incorrect. He I actually, I, he wears thongs. That is correct, Corbin. Uh, he wears thongs. I didn't know this was thong, okay. thong, 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 thong. Oh. <laughs> so, going on. Sarah Palin. Uh, Sarah Palin, she probably, if she wore underwear, that did not come out right. No, Sorry. No, I know I, this one. I know this one. Corbin, she, chime in. She wears those Fruit Loop edible panties. No, incorrect. Boxers. She, uh, Boxers. Can you see them from her house? She is more of a man than Obama. Michelle Bachman, go. Michelle Bachman, uh, she would probably that. wear lacy Victoria's Secret. Incorrect. She wears crotchless panties. Oh. <laughs> Victoria's Secret. Not so I much a secret anymore. In it. Okay. Moving along. I've Mitt... had those before. And you're just like... <laughs> Mitt, Mitt Romney. Mitt Romney. Oh. You actually spent last evening interviewing him, so what does he wear? Boxers or briefs? Uh, I really think that he was wearing probably briefs. Actually, he incorrect. Was... Chastity belt. He is a Mormon. Oh. Uh, right. Yeah, right. But chastity belt. Right. Rick Santorum, go. Rick Santorum, um, he probably wears evil. <laughs> is that a brand by Hugo Boss? It, 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 yes. No, uh, it's the kind it, with the barbed wire and the bear trap in it. Gotcha. Sarah Palin special. Yep. All right. <laughs> and last but not least, Ooh. Ron Paul. Ron Paul. Is I, he a porn star? Ron is Ron that's Ron, is Ron Jeremy, not Ron Paul. Oh. Ron Jer Close enough. Right? No. <laughs> so, boxers or briefs, Ron Paul. <laughs> Hello? Hey! Um, probably Brioxers. Incor Brioxers? That's still incorrect. Bo boxy. He wears long johns. Long johns. He was born in 1732. Are they silver? <laughs> long johns silver. Um, <laughs> and they haven't come off no, since 1732. All right. Ew. Thank you for your input on that. Question number two, okay. which I do think is much more important to most of our female viewers out there. Yes, yes. And a few of the queer ones <clears throat> as well. What are their views on wearing white after Labor Day? President Obama, go. Wait a second. He's white after Labor Day? <laughs> I thought... Wears white. Where, wears white. Oh. Not wears Waldo. <laughs> Where's where W E A R? Um, I don't know what his views would be on that. Um, According to I Michelle, he does not look good in white. He's not allowed to wear it. Only she is. Uh oh. Well, there's that. There's correct. Go to Sarah Palin. Um, Have you Sarah seen Palin. Red I, arms? I wouldn't. 
across her either. Are we talking about Sarah I think or we're Michelle? Talking about Sarah Palin now, Corbin. Oh, sorry. Sarah Palin, wear white after Labor Day. Um, Sarah Palin, um, she probably doesn't really care. That's correct. She is not an American. That is correct. You win. <laughs> Michelle Bachman, go. Michelle Bachman, she probably doesn't. All she wears is white. Mm. Oh. Interesting note. God. When you're that pasty, all you can wear is white. But then you just kind of blend in the stuff. And she tries. So she gets lost. Ron Paul, go. Um, Ron Paul, probably... I bet he doesn't. Correct. He is an albino. That is too correct for oh you. Oh, my God. Very good. Mitt Romney, Very go. Cool. Mitt Romney, wearing white after Labor Day. I bet he doesn't. Well, really bet he doesn't. you know, according to his wife, you're correct. Oh, my God. Neither one were virgins when they married. Uh, <laughs> Rick Santorum, go. Uh, Rick, I wish he would. Um, Wait, excuse me, what? Um, nothing. I think that he would not wear it ever. ever. Incorrect. I think mean, he should wear black and walk out in the middle of a New York street in the middle of the night so one of those big buses just runs his ass over. Close, Corbett. Incorrect. He does wear white every Sunday when he golfs. Oh, oh. That's all right. That's all right. Yes, that's correct. Good so, try. So you I'm have three right that time. Sorry. Okay. Three right. You Ooh. know, for someone who's studied this political climate, you're not very smart. Right. Going along to question number three. <laughs> Thank you. This is hard hitting to most of our viewers that are geeks. Oh. Okay. Like you. I'm, I'm just speaking the truth. I'm, I know I'm, you well, I'm, but thank you for yeah, playing. Yeah. All right, question number three. Does each candidate prefer Star Wars or Star Trek? Obama, go. Uh, Obama probably does. Um, but because does what? He probably does prefer. Oh, one to the other. <laughs> Correct. Oh, embarrassing. Um, probably Star Wars. Actually, Star I kind of see him as a Klingon. Oh, my God. I watched him in a presidential candidate like candidate thing, and he had one. He did, and it was like... <laughs> That's called a bat in the cave. Do I have one? Not a Klingon. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yes, you do have one. Oh. Uh -huh. Okay. Michelle Bachman, go. Uh, Michelle Bachman, I bet she prefers Star Trek. No, she is a stormtrooper. She is, she is a stormtrooper? She is a stormtrooper. Uh -huh. well, Correct. Uh, cool. Cor correct. Sarah Palin, go. Uh, Sarah Palin, I bet, is Star Wars. We don't care. Um, oh, no. I forgot one important candidate. We'll come back to him in a minute and answer all three questions. But going on to Rick Santorum. Rick Santorum, um, I think that he would prefer Star Wars. Actually, he is Darth Vader. He, oh. James Earl Jones has declared him Darth Vader. Oh. Am I his father? <laughs> <laughs> no. Thankfully. <laughs> yes. Uh, Mitt Romney. Mitt Romney, um, I'm going to go with Star Trek. You actually are correct there. Oh, okay. Do you know why? No. We don't either. Oh. But he's just a Mormon. Oh. So Mormon. we just assumed Star Trek, Mormon, different planet. Because that's what... You know. <laughs> the planet known as Utah. Right. Uh, yes. 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 And what about our beloved Ron Paul? Oh, Ron. Doesn't he remind you of Yoda? Yoda he do. Um, it, what? This is Yoda, a serious Yoda, debate. Yoda he do. No. I don't want to play anymore. Okay. As we wrap this up, since you're obviously <laughs> know nothing about our candidates, go back to the underwear discussion. Yes. The White After Labor Day. Right. And Star Wars, Star Trek for Newt Gingrich. Go. Uh, brief. Ah, who cares? We're done. No one likes Newt Gingrich. Anyway, oh. let's just face it this way. He wears tents because he's too big to wear boxers or briefs, and thongs would just be nasty. And let's face it. Anyone that white needs to wear a bright color. I, yes. He needs to ask his lesbian daughter to pick a good I, color for him. That being said, moving along, who cares if he likes Star Trek or Star Wars? He's never going to be president. Huh? Any closing thoughts? Uh, I didn't think I, so. I, thank you for joining us, Serena Marshall. Corbin, uh, thank you. It was great talking to you, my friend. D, uh, thank you for absolutely no input. Uh, Just uh, like D. And we'll join us uh, next week as we join... 
Corbin and all, uh, I, I have no clue what we're, actually he'll be narrating our trip to New York City. Yes. And with right. that, I just want to remind you, this is Scott Elliott signing off for news in yeah. under 10 minutes. We appreciate your views, uh, YouTube lovers, and we'll see you next week. Okay, bye.